Now, friends, you know I'm always open to differing points of view. So after a police officer called me out on social media for being too hard on Spider-Man, and it went viral and people just wouldn't shut up about it, I agreed to a debate. Officer, welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so, uh, so me and my guys went to shoot out with some desperate characters who had nothing to lose. I mean, they didn't care if we all lived and died. And somebody would have, trust me, if Spider-Man hadn't helped us. All right, fair enough. I'm not saying he never does anything good. I'm saying he causes more problems than he solves. You have to go to the Academy, right? Be thoroughly trained? You have rules to follow? Sure, but he seems to know what he's doing, too. It worked out for the best this time. Next time, how do we know Spider-Man won't cause the deaths of all concerned? Well, he never had to before, has he? I believe we'll just have to agree to disagree. Thank you for your service. Goodbye! That's right, it's me. You got this, Spider-Man. Watch it! This is all your fault. Like the shoes. Get out of here. See you the game last night? Savvy listeners don't need me to tell you that the demon's cult, gang, terrorist organization, all the above apply, is out of control. We have a survivor of one of their brazen attacks on the line. Go ahead. I was home, in my building. We got word there were demons of the roof planting bombs. We had to evacuate, but we also heard there were snipers waiting to pick us off when we tried to leave. Despicable. Fortunately, the police and the bomb squad handled the situation. It's Spider-Man. He... Jared, cut the call! <laughs> Sorry. Hard to hear when we're talking over each other. Clearly someone traumatized by a terrifying experience. For resources to help with PTSD, go to our website. Another public service from J. Jonah James. Every two-bit mugger thinks he's the next Wilson Fisk. Well, they are going to jail, so... Time to take Rhino down. This is Sable Control. Request... that monitors water quality. Any nasty stuff gets in, it tells you. I wanted to check on it myself, but it's just never enough time. Feels like Harry's not telling me something. I hope he's okay. That algae's already killing fish. And if I don't stop it, it'll work its way up the food chain fast. I whipped up a virus that'll attack it in Harry's lab. But I need a sample of the algae to make it work. Gotta get to the lake, stat. Got it. Now I need to crack the cell walls, and the only way I can do that in time is with G-Force. The quick and dirty way to apply G-Force is jump off a tall building. 
and the tallest one around is Oscorp. I wish I could do this in a lab. There's no time. Jump the gun! Woo! Got it! Now I just have to do it again. I am not eager to repeat that, but I have to. Low enough. Got an itchy web finger. Good work. Now if I can just keep from throwing up. Gotta hurry back to the lake and turn this loose. There. And it's tailored to the toxic algae. Won't hurt normal plant life. Which is good, because a park without plants is just a vacant lot. Hey, my first camera. I got this at a yard sale. Still uses film. Tower is so cool, but they're never around to use it. I think they're probably. Somewhere on the west coast right now. Probably surfing or something. Still not sure if opening this would set the Sandman free, but I'm in no hurry to find out.
Alicia's close to her goal. And I've still got way too big an area to search. Gotta narrow it down. Every data point helps. Who she robbed, where they live. Meow. I think Lonesome Pinky lives here. Stealing from a country singer. She's getting creative. But I'm getting closer. One more ought to do it. Here's the drone. Hand down. Gotta hurry! The drone slowed down! So close to perfection. Jameson gave me this at his Bugle retirement party. I thought nobody would listen to his talk show. Shows how much I know.
The raft. When a regular maximum security prison just isn't enough. Yuri, I found a fist construction site. Lots of busy worker bees up to no good. Try to make some noise. If someone calls in a disturbance, I can send cars. Noisy? I can do noisy. Boss has a long memory for that kind of stuff. How long have you been with him? Like the old days. With Don Rivaletto. Damn. You people the boss with the boss. Trust me. It's a nap. Let's go grab things. 
Everything's quiet here now, Captain. Great. That's one more revenue stream Wilson Fisk can't use to pay his lawyers. <laughs> 